In the last video, we've developed an app that shows a live camera feed on the screen, such as this example. In this video, we're going to add an object detection model so that bounding boxes are shown on the screen. To achieve this, we first extend the view controller, then add a detection model, and finally draw bounding boxes on the screen. I've linked the final code in the description below. To keep the code for the detector separate from the code for the preview, we create a new file and extend our view controller class. We also import UIKit, AV Foundation, and Vision. To get access to the frames from the camera, we add an AV Capture Video Data Output as a second output to our capture session. To implement this, we first create the instance variable Video Output in our view controller class. Then in the function capture session, we set the class view controller as the buffer delegate and connect this output to our capture session. This delegate is why we chose to extend the class and cannot use a new one here. It allows us to read frames with the capture output method from the buffer. Check out the video in the description if you want to learn more about it. This draws an error since the view controller class does not conform to the AV capture video data output sample buffer delegate protocol. So we fix it. Finally, as for the preview layer in the previous video, we rotate the frame in the capture session into portrait orientation. As a next step, we import a detection model into our project. In the example, I use YOLO v3 from Apple, but any detection model will do. We can also import and convert models from TensorFlow or PyTorch into Cormel by using Cormel tools. And I've linked some resources how to do that in the description, so check them out if you want to learn more. To work with this model, we first define the instance variable requests in the view controller. And this array will contain the VN request, which sends a frame to the model. To load and prepare the model, we implement the function setupDetector in the file detector. In it, we first get the path to our model and then load it. So here we define our VN CoreML request, which tells a vision request which model to use and which completion handler to call once a detection has completed. The result of the detection is assigned to recognitions, which we assign to our instance variable requests. The function step detector must be called once before we want to detect objects, which is why we call it here. So we've prepared a model, but to use it, we must create a VN image request handler. And this is a handler which grabs a frame from the pixel buffer and then we can perform object detection with this frame by calling the method perform on this handler with request as an argument. Now, previously we set the view controller as the sample buffer delegate. And that means that whenever a new frame is provided by the capture session, the method capture output is called and the frame is added to the pixel buffer. So in our extension, we can implement the capture output method. To process the results, we implement the completion handler detection to complete in the extension. We use it to check whether objects were detected in the frame, and if so, call the function to draw the boxes on the screen. And because we draw on the screen, we must perform this operation on the main queue. The detections are in a list of dictionaries, and they can be extracted. They are of type VN observation. Now, if any objects are detected, we extract them to draw the bounding box in the function extract detections. Before we implement this function extract detections, we set up the layers in which we want to draw the bounding boxes. So let's take a look at the layer hierarchy here. The foundation is the view's underlying layer. In the previous post, we've added the preview layer to it, which presents the live camera feed. On the same level, we now add a detection layer, which will contain all the bounding boxes. And each bounding box is itself a layer, which will add to the detection layer. To implement this, we first add the instance variable detection layer in view controller. 
When the app starts, we add this layer to the root views layer after setting its dimensions to the screen size in the function setup layers. We call setup layers in view did load of the view controller after setup capture session but before setup detector. If the orientation of the device changes, we call update layers to adjust the dimensions similar to the preview layer in the previous video. We call this function in the world transition method of the view controller. To draw the bounding boxes, we implement extract detections. In it, we first remove all chat layers of detection layer, which are the bounding boxes from the previous frame. Then we iterate over each detection, transform the coordinates, and create the box layer. And then we add it to the detection layer. But we cannot just take the coordinates from the bounding box and use them to draw the layer, which is a core animation layer, because they use different frames of reference. So let's take a look at this. The bounding box and object observation is provided as a VN recognized object observation and comes in a CG rec structure. The values are scaled to the range of 0 to 1. We can scale the box into the size of the layer by using VN image rect for normalized rect. The box is expressed in a reference system which sits at the bottom left corner and extends to the top right. To draw the box, we use a core animation layer. Consequently, we must create a layer with the height and width of the bounding box and position it relatively to the detection layer. A CA layer has the origin in the top left corner and extends to the bottom right. So we must transform from box coordinates into layer coordinates. For the position of the top left corner, X is the same but y is the height of the full root layer minus y max of the box. We can get the width of the layer by subtracting x min from x max, and similar to that, the height by subtracting y min from y max. We then pass these transformed coordinates to a function which actually creates the layer and adds it to the detection layer. All that's left now is to draw the box. The function draw bounding box takes the transformed CG rect and returns the layer. When we now run the app, we can see that it detects objects. What's exciting here is not that we can see boxes on the screen, but rather that we have the coordinates of selected objects available basically in real time. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See you in the next one.